here it is. And again, I'm not exactly sure why I wanted to talk about the endomembrane system again, but I think maybe there's like a story here about processing and building that um, is, is relevant. So um, I'm just gonna write down the folks, maybe a starting point as the nucleus. And that's not really part of the endomembrane system, but it, um, the nucleus provides the instructions through the DNA. The nucleus provides the instructions for building proteins. And then the endomembrane system really is about processing proteins. And I say proteins, but the smooth endoplasmic reticulum does fats. So um, the nucleus will send a message to a ribosome on the rough endoplasmic reticulum and make proteins. The rough endoplasmic reticulum processes these proteins. So sometimes the sequence of amino acids produced by the ribosome will need to be folded or um, twisted or combined with someone else. And the rough endoplasmic reticulum will help do that work. Um, once the stuff is processed, and meanwhile, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum often will, sometimes still processes the proteins, but sometimes does fat processing. So we'll build fats that are needed by the cell to barf out into the world. Once the, the, um, the rough endoplasmic reticulum does the protein processing, it does this thing where it puts the protein in a vesicle. So, and that vesicle goes to the Golgi body or the Golgi apparatus. And I don't see like you, it's almost like these guys are connected. So the message comes from the nucleus to the rough endoplasmic reticulum, proteins are processed, they are packaged. And then there's like, I've seen it described as like almost a conveyor belt type um, thing where the now the packaged protein or the, the processed proteins are now sent to the Golgi body where they are um, packaged. I'm going to put in the word protein. Proteins are packaged by the Golgi body. And then, and when I say packaged into vesicles, and then the vesicles, it's a true story. They're barfed into the extracellular fluid or they're barfed into the environment. So the vesicle, the stuff that's in the vesicle is um, barfed. I'm going to go ahead and go with barf right now into the environment. And I, that says environment. I need to practice like what? I need more room. Why well, I need to fix this because <laughs> I need more room. Maybe even if I could just scroll down, I could have more room. So um, I guess I just wanted to show you this system of structures that sort of rely on cell membrane to make these bubbles and do the work of the cell. When we talk about the cell membrane in the next lecture, we're gonna look at all the different ways that stuff comes in and out of the cell. And I think it's, you know, this process, this endomembrane system is gonna um, play a big role in that. Let's see, next up, we're gonna compare all of our cells and do a tallying of what we, so what's coming next is gonna be an interactive thing that you are gonna wanna have, um, you're gonna wanna push pause frequently to walk through it with me.